hello students welcome to the sixth lecture of partial differential equations in the previous video lecture we have discussed the concept how to solve the lagrange method and as i have promised in the last video that we will be solving few questions so in this video i will be discussing four to five questions which is based on this method so let me take a first question which is given to me as y into z into p plus zx into q equals to xy so the first step will be to convert this equation into lagrange form that is a lagrange auxiliary equation so that will be dx upon yz equals to dy upon zx equals to dz upon xy so you should be familiar with what is a lagrange auxiliary equation in case if you face any difficulty you may watch my previous video lectures for the same now we will compare the first two factors and if i compare the first two factors so what do i get we get dx upon yz equals to dy upon zx so you can see that z gets cancelled out on both sides so this will be x dx minus y dy equals to zero and if i integrate on both sides what do i get that is a x square minus y square equals to some c1 now let me call this as a equation number one now similarly if you compare the second and the third terms so what do you get dy upon zx equals to dz upon xy just cancel out x on both sides so again what do you get y dy is equals to z dz right and again on integrating both sides what do i get that is a y square minus z square is equal to some constant c2 and the final solution for this equation how i can write the solution for this equation as i have already described so mark it as equation number two so the final answer can be written as that phi which is x square minus y square comma y square minus z square equals to zero so that is the answer for this question moving on to the second question the second question states p into cot x plus q into cot y equals to cot z again i will follow the same approach the first equation that is a lagrange auxiliary equation that is dx upon cot x equals to dy upon cot y is equals to dz upon cot z right so you can write it down like tan x into dx is equals to tan y into dy equals to tan z into dz now if you equate the first two terms so what do i get if you integrate also so integration of tan x with respect to dx equals to integration of tan y into dy okay you can bring it on one side is equals to zero now if you integrate what do you get so what is the integration of tan x and that is a log of mod of secant x right so this is log of mod of secant x minus log of mod of secant y now let me call it as log of some constant c1 so i can write it down log of secant x upon secant y right is equals to log of some constant c1 and if you cancel out log on both sides we get secant x upon secant y equals to some c1 let me call it as equation number one and on the similar lines if you compare the second and the third term so that is a tan y dy minus tan z into dz equals to zero if you integrate on both sides so similarly what do we get the solution we get the solution as secant y upon secant z equals to some constant c2 and let me call it as equation number two and the final solution which i will be getting is let me call it as phi of what is the function phi of secant x upon secant y fine with this comma secant y upon secant z equals to some c and that is the final answer for this question moving on to the third question in this video lecture now the question is given to me as x square plus 2y square into p minus xy into q equals to xz so the first step will be i will be writing the lagrange auxiliary equation that will be dx upon x square plus 2y square equals to dy upon minus xy is equals to dz upon x into z now if you 
take the last two fractions and if you compare them that will be dy upon minus xy equals to dz upon x into z just cancel out x on both sides and what do you get that is a dy upon y plus dz upon z equals to 0 and if you integrate on both sides now what do you get on integration what do you get that is integration of 1 by y with respect to y that is a log y plus log z equals to some log c fine with this now just apply the properties of log that is a log a plus log b that can be written as log of a b so this is log of y z equals to some log of some constant c1 and if you cancel out log on both sides so what do i get we get that y into z is equals to some constant c1 and mark this as equation number one now if you take the first two fractions now if i take the first two fractions so what are my first two fractions let me write down dx upon x square plus 2y square equals to dy upon minus xy now just calculate the value of dx upon dy just observe what do i get that is x square upon 2y square upon minus xy so just separate out the fractions so this will be x square upon minus xy plus 2y square upon minus xy so now what what it will be this will be dx upon dy is equals to just cancel out the x so this will be minus x upon y plus so again this will be minus and just cancel out the y so you get 2y upon x so on multiplying both the sides by 2x what do i get 2x dx upon dy is equals to minus 2x square upon y fine with this minus 4 into y fine with this now just observe one thing that this can be written as 2x dx upon dy plus 2 upon y into x square is equals to minus 4 into y now if i substitute if i substitute what do i substitute that is x square equals to some other variable v so once you substitute this just take the derivative that is 2x into dx upon dy this must be equal to dv upon dx so just replace 2x into dx by dy that is the first term by dv by dx plus 2 upon y as it is and what do i get in place of x square that is v is equals to minus 4y now you can observe this is a linear differential equation so which is a linear equation which is a linear equation you can even recall what was a linear equation and how do i calculate the solution for the same so recall so linear equation is an equation which is of the form dy by dx plus py equals to some q where my p and q are functions of x and the integrating factor for the above equation is e raised to our integration p dx and the solution for this was now integrating factor into this y right is equals to integration of integrating factor multiply with q plus some constant c now apply the same for here so this is also a linear differential equation right of first order now the solution and uh, the integrating factor can be so the integrating factor for the above will be integration uh, that is a e raised to power integration that is 2 by y into dy so this is integration 2 as a constant 1 by y the integration is log y now you can take 2 in the power that is log of y square log and e will get merged and you will get the integrating factor as y square and hence the solution so just multiply the integrating factor with v right fine with this is equals to integration what was my q here you can just see that is minus 4y right and uh, what is the integrating factor that is y square right into dy plus some constant c now you can substitute the value of v here so what is the value of v that is x square so this will be y square into x square that is integration now you can take 4 common so this is y cube and what is the integration of y cube with respect to y so this is y 4 by 4 right and 4 and 4 gets cancelled out so here i am left with only y raised to power 4 plus some constant let me call it as c2 because i have already used c1 in the above so on combining i get y square into x square plus y raised to power 4 is equals to some c2 and finally 
from equation 1 and 2 what do i get the final solution that is phi of y into z that is the first solution and the second one is y square x square plus y raised to power 4 is equals to 0. Students and this phi in every question you have to mention at the end that what is this phi? This phi being any an arbitrary function. Fine with this? So I hope this question that was an interesting question is clear to you. Moving on to the last question in this video lecture that is question number 4 and again one of the simple question that is p plus q equals to sin x. So clearly you can form the Lagrange equation auxiliary equation that is dx upon 1 is equals to dy upon 1 is equals to dz upon sin x. So if you compare the first two fractions that is dx is equals to dy and if you integrate now right what do I get that is x minus y equals to some c1. Similarly if you integrate the first and the third fraction sorry if you compare the first and third fraction so separate the variables and then integrate it. So what do I get? So what is the integration of sin x minus cos x and this is integration of dz that is z only plus some constant c2 or I can even write it down like z plus cos x equals to some constant c2. So the final solution that will be given as phi of x minus y comma z plus cos x equals to 0. So that will be the final answer for this question. So students here we have few practice questions which you can try solving and if you face any difficulty you can mention your doubts in the comment section. So I hope you have enjoyed this video session and in the upcoming video lectures we will be discussing the type 2 that how to solve the next category of questions. So thank you for watching this video lecture. For more such videos do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.